y'all, welcome back to my channel. Why don't you get on here today and talk about how my makeup changes in the fall and winter time. And y'all, I have to tell you, I'm shocked how fast it happened. I really haven't even broken out the sweaters yet, but I'm, my makeup's already changing. So I'm just going to jump right into this and I'm going to talk about how my makeup and body care changes a little bit in the fall. Okay, first, I don't forget my primers. I look forward to my primers and I want them to glow. And these are the ones I'm picking up. This Magic Lumi. I've had this for a while and I'm just picking it back up and starting to use it. This is a glow now. So luminous. Or one of the Becca's. The backlight for just a glow. And then this morning, I'm on five hours of sleep and I thought, I need a little color correcting too. So I put this on and this makes me glow. It just kind of perfects everything a little bit. I looked so healthy before I started putting my makeup on. These are addictive. Okay, next, my foundations. And I won't go into these just a whole lot because they've been in a ton of videos, but I'll tell y'all what I'm reaching for already. I'm obsessed with the Is CC. And I like either one of these. I like the really illuminating one and I like the regular one. These are nice and dewy. I know snail mucin is one of the first ingredients. That's probably why I love it. They're just... They just glow. My Clinique Beyond Perfecting is beautiful velvet goodness. It is just a beautiful for the winter time. For a really beautiful luminosity, either one of these. The Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. I love this. It has a doe foot, so does the Clinique. They are worth it to me. This is beautiful over the It's CC. It's beautiful over a more matte foundation so you can wear it all winter. This is lovely. And then the Clinique Even Better Glow. Either one of these over anything make it just a beautiful luminosity. These are probably my top illuminating foundations. Okay, next. In the morning, I set with a matte powder like the It Bye Bye or the Too Faced. But when I touch up during the day, it's a luminizing powder. And you'd think that I'd be overly shiny. No, it just, all this stuff is just very subtle. So it just keeps that luminosity going through the day. And I love the Hourglass Dim Light. So this is almost a skin finish, just a tiny bit of a luminosity. And with all of these hourglasses, most of these come in the minis, so you can try them out. I'm going to start buying more minis. Then I also love the Hourglass Mineral Veil, and I love the Charlotte Tilbury Magic. These are my go-tos. I love them. Be aware that the Charlotte Tilbury does have a scent, <laughs> putting it loosely. It has a very strong scent of something petroleum, and it also has cornstarch in it. But it's beautiful. It's lovely magic. Both of these are. I love them. Okay, next. I'm not the best about highlighters in the summer, but winter hits and I really want the highlighter. But I've added so much glow everywhere else. It's subtle. And my favorites are a luminous powder like these hourglasses, this diffuse light. I love this just for a real light luminosity and lightening my face, just right on the tops of my cheeks, over my eyebrows, anywhere I want lightness. And I also love this Hello Light from It is beautiful. It's a cream. I put it on with a beauty blender and just to the tops of my cheeks, just a real light luminosity with just a tiny bit of shine and it's a cream so it doesn't dry you okay next i like to add a glow with my bronzers and blushes so i'll start with bronzers my absolute favorite bronzer and i'm not going to stay on this long because it's been in a ton of videos are the carlons in zero two natural cool natural rose and then i have one in deep golden that's the one in deep golden and it just gives me an earthy peach just real fast and warms my face up without muddying me and gives me a luminosity. And then the Natural Cool Natural Rose is that one. And it's, it's that. These are beautiful for the fall. And next, a blush with some luminosity. And really, anything that's your favorite. One of my very favorites I don't even have in my possession. I really want it back, but I'm making myself not buy it. That is the It Je Ne Sais Quoi. It is the most perfect pink with just a tiny bit of a luminosity. I love that blush. I don't have it, but I do have some I love, and that is any of the Milani's, the Luminoso, Dolce Pink. These are lovely, and then I also love 
hourglasses all have a beautiful just a real light luminosity give your face a lift another one is the Laura Mercier this just has a really nice light luminosity that reminds me of the luminoso it is really nice just for a little bit of an extra glow and probably my biggest gun for the glow is the Laura Geller and these are like a highlighter blush hold on I'm gonna put on the Laura Geller yeah, see, it just adds highlight on the points of your cheek. It is beautiful. I'm going to go blend that out. Okay, next, setting sprays. If I feel real dry, I will put this Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist on a beauty blender and just bounce that beauty blender wherever I feel dry. This is lovely and adds a dewy glow back to your skin. And then I also like this Cuddly Beauty Elixir. Now this does have a fragrance in it. So fragrances bother you. It does have a fragrance, but it doesn't bother my eyes and my eyes are sensitive. Okay, next in the winter time, I start really, really wanting some cools in my life. That icy cool look with a nude pink lip is just greatness. And today the cool look that I have on is the sultry. I love this palette. Now this is just a neutral palette, but if you like the Anastasia formula, the formulation on this is beautiful. The pigment is beautiful. It's Anastasia, those two. Just beautiful, cool looks I get with this. I also start wanting my other Anastasias back out. My subculture, I still love this palette. Beautiful, I get beautiful looks in the winter time for that, with that. And the Modern Renaissance. I love these in the winter time. Another eyeshadow palette that I have pulled back out as soon as fall hit, the Viseart Dark Matte. Y'all, I love this in the fall. One of my favorites is this navy. I love a good navy eyeshadow. The minute it starts getting cooler, I'm like, where's that Viseart Dark Matte? Okay, and then lip care. And I'm gonna have to ask for y'all's help. My lips are so peeling and dry. My lip oils are not touching it. They are not touching it. But I will tell y'all what is <laughs> Vicks Vapo Rub. Now I know this isn't glamorous, but for the lips, this is what I have. I have some Laneige in my Sephora cart, but last night this saved me. My lips are so much better this morning. I'm out of the Carmex. It's in my Walmart cart. But this is my fall go-to so far. This and the Carmex that I'm out of. Y'all tell me what your favorite um, lip balms are. And if you know anything about that Laneige, put that down there because it's in my cart. Okay, next. I heard about this next one on Lisa Lisa D1. I think it's called Day and Night. This is a beautiful Lancome shade and it's just a shiny, sparkly pink. Here, I'll put a little on over what I already have on. It's real light, and then I use it with a darker liner. Beautiful, I love this. Another one that I've gotten back out is this NARS in Voodoo, and it's one of those real sheer pinks. It goes on kind of sheer, and it's just a baby pink, and it's very moisturizing. That one, hold on, I'll put it on over what I have. This is the prettiest, softest color, and I love all of these with this liner. This MAC Whirl is so pretty. It's described as a dirty rose, so it goes with all of these pinks. So pretty. That's what I have on today. And I'll wear like a lighter lipstick or a sheer lipstick and then put this on and it kind of darkens it up a little bit. Just beautiful. Okay, then I also love the MAC Lip Glass. I think this one is Oyster Girl. And this one's almost there. I'll put the names up here. I love it because I can put it on with no liner and just rent in anywhere. It's pinky nude, but it's not dead. Hold on just a second. Let me put a little bit of this on. I love this. It's just bright enough. And then this one in Oyster Girl, it's just got like a little iridescent shine to it. Hold on. I'll put a little bit of this on too. I'll put this on over the first one. I love both of these. These stay in my purse. Okay, next, I'm going to move on to a few body products. I will tell y'all, I self-tan more in the winter than I do in the summer because, I don't know, it just kind of gives me a lift and doesn't make me feel so pasty and it's cold outside. So I like to self-tan all winter long, and I do that with either the Tanseuticals 
or this Jergens Natural Glow. I get out of the shower and dry off a little bit and it acts as a body oil. So it's like a moisturizer self tanner. So I like to self tan all winter long. If you get a little blue in the winter time, try that. It just kind of makes you feel like you're bringing a little bit of the summer back and I really love self tanning all winter. And then another body oil, this Caudalie Divine Oil. One of my subscribers told me about this, and this is lovely. It's for face, hair, and body. I use this for body because it has such a nice mist. The mist on the Caudalie's is beautiful. It's always just fine and even. Now, this does have a pretty strong floral scent, if scents bother you, but I love this. Okay, and next... Fragrance. I start wearing more actual heavier perfumes instead of just body mists. And my two go-tos right now, the Alien by Terry Mugler, and I still have some of this from last year. And it's just really nice. I just really like that. And then the Erin Tuberose. These are just so nice. They're, you know, they're named after the note that's in them. And this one is Tuberose. And those are all of the makeup changes that I have made so far. Y'all tell me below some things that y'all are changing about your makeup. And if you have some good lip balms, body oils, whatever you're loving, put that down below so I can pick it up and love it with you. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.